In other news, 5,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with ALS every year. Medical experts say it typically takes an average of two years to diagnose. But as Scripps reporter Elizabeth Ruiz explains, we could be seeing some big changes in the near future. Artificial intelligence has been changing our way of life for decades. But what if AI could change the outcome of your life? Groundbreaking research will help people with ALS get diagnosed a lot sooner. In 2019, Mark Weston and his wife Kathleen had their retirement all planned out. So we were all set up for a you know, sail off into the sunset and have a really fun retirement. We would bought a house on the coast of Maine several months earlier. But a week before the big move? I got diagnosed with uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, better known as ALS, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. In the case of what I have, which is called limb onset ALS, you begin to lose the ability to do stuff like walk or stand up and sit down without assistance. But eventually, all the motor neurons fail and, and you essentially become paralyzed and can no longer breathe. There's no cure and no effective treatment as of yet, but Mark wanted to contribute to research, so he asked to be part of drug trials. Hello and welcome back. Mark says he was happy to learn of a research study that uses artificial intelligence to accurately document the progression of the disease. The hope is that it would help diagnose ALS earlier so people like Mark could be a part of drug trials. To me, it's like uh, science fiction. Uh, where they pinpoint different parts of your face and your musculature and your eye expressions. The nonprofit responsible for the study is Everything ALS. Indu Navar started it after losing her husband to ALS. Through that journey, we just realized that how behind we are in bringing, um, you know, um, technology and real innovation to this diseases, especially brain disease. The program uses sensors to track the degeneration of movement, speech, and facial expressions over time, with people participating in the 15-minute session once a month for five months. We measure the speech um, and video of people, like the facial changes and um, gait changes, like how they move their balances and how they breathe and how they type, how they move their fingers. Indu says the research has been going great so far with a thousand participants in only 14 months. She says she expects to put something in front of the FDA by the end of the year. And what's really cool is that she's using technology her husband created in the study. I really don't want him to be known as um, somebody who was lost to the disease. I want him to be known as somebody who solved, who helped solve the disease. In Denver, I'm Elizabeth Ruiz reporting.